would it be like to represent oneself while also exploring the seven chakra points and working through that with a visual representation and so when i needed it i started taking that pro that concept and i processed it on this wall so i represent the seven chakra points and when I was living in this room, this really helped me to kind of visualize the process of my own healing, right? So the root chakra is the color red and it relates a lot to like childhood healing and a lot of things that have to do with the color red and that are deep seated and have to do with like our foundation and our sense of security and our sense of self. So I started kind of working through that and I added the fire later when I was thinking through the pressures and of the world and these different things that might make us feel like we are kind of sitting on a bed of fire. And that was really at the beginning of quarantine in the beginning um, in like April of 2020. So as you can imagine, I was going through a lot of feelings like with the rest of the world and processing um, the way of like what's going on with our world and the people around us. So that's where the fire came from. But I originally started from here with just focusing on myself and I created myself in a space of peace of what for me is peace, which for me is sitting with trees and sitting by water. And so as I have this tool to depict like my chakras, I also have this tool for healing, which is the water and the tree, which reminds me of the feelings I receive from nature that help me to ground myself and work through different things. So at the, the last piece of the mural were the, was when I added the words, which was primarily for the goodbye party so that I had some words to really represent and questions to help people um, think through the mural. And so that question that was added on later is here, and it says, what lives beneath the surface? So this entire process of kind of self-actualizing, processing who you are, where, what lies beneath the surface, feeling our own body and gaining the tools and strategies of feeling our own body with things such as movement practices, which for me included yoga, running, capoeira, or eating like plant-based foods and how that allows us to kind of feel our body and our emotions more clearly when we are practicing these kind of mindful strategies. So all of that kind of helped me to figure out for myself what my role, what I want my role to be in this world, which has to do with being an artist. So I had this quote up kind of lightly and then I emphasized it largely for the goodbye party. And it says the role of the artist is to make the revolution irresistible. So for me, this type of healing is the revolution, right? It's looking at the self and realizing that every day we have to come back to ourselves to do this work of figuring out where our alignment is, maybe moving energy out of the body and finding this place of peace among the chaos for the next steps, right? For me, love is very important of all kinds of love is a very important concept to me. Love among community, love among friends, love among romance and love in general for me has this like bonding property in this idea of peace and joy, right? But for a lot of us and in the world in general, it's really hard to build community and it's really hard to kind of stay in a place of peace sometimes with those around us. So I kind of wrote this mantra that comes from 2 Corinthians for myself as a reminder.